Welcome into the Recruiting Roundup. I'm Jordan Ham. We have a lot to get to. A lot of offensive linemen uh, making some news with a commitment and a couple of offers as well. With that, I'm going to bring in my good buddy, Jason Jewell. And Jason, let's kick things off here with that commitment. Anthony Cooper, you and Brad Sesmat talked about him just a week ago picking up that ASU offer. He turns around and commits to the Sun Devils. Yeah, it, it didn't take him very long. I'm not really surprised that he did, considering the other scholarship offers he had were South Dakota State and Northern Arizona. Gets that local Power 5 offer, which is huge, and he makes the makes the pledge pretty quickly. He's a guy that I really like as far as his motor. Plays on both sides of the ball and just, just goes. Uh, we, he's going to uh, play defensive tackle at Arizona State, which is what I think uh, best tra- what he best translate as. You know, Because of his height, he's only about six foot two, but he's about 285 pounds. Uh, we saw a couple weeks ago he had five sacks against uh, Maricopa High School showing that motor. So um, good get here for Arizona State. J.D. Johnson spent the offseason backing up Spencer Rattler, picked up a couple Power 5 offers before even taking a varsity snap. He's come in nicely as Spencer Rattler was injured. Now Spencer is back, but J.D. picks up an SEC offer. Yeah, so he was big time. He, you know, in his uh, one of his starts, he threw for 400 yards and got that film out there and turns around and he gets an offer from South Carolina. So next year really is going to be JD's year to shine once uh, Rattler is off to Oklahoma, but um, Pinnacle Pioneers and Coach Zupke, they uh, they, they got to be happy with what they have coming back next year in Johnson. Purdue came in last class and got quarterback Jack Plummer from Gilbert. They offer two more Arizona playmakers in upcoming classes. Yeah, both uh, in that 2020 class, Cade Bennett, a big old offensive guard over at Notre Dame Prep, who I watched his film uh, just the last week and I'm really impressed. I like the development that he's made. And then Brendan Rice, the star wide receiver over at Hamilton High School. Um, he's a kid that's getting very, very heavily recruited, has multiple offers, approaching double digit offers here, um, but adds an offer from Purdue as well. And while we're on the topic of offensive linemen, two offensive linemen in the state pick up Pac-12 offers, and one of them is already committed to the Arizona Wildcats. Yeah, so the guy you're talking about is Jordan Morgan down at Marana High School. So uh, the University of Arizona is going to have to really battle to, to keep that pledge from Morgan. He's a, a late rising prospect that added an offer from USC. And then Jalen Jeffers, a junior offensive tackle at Saguaro High School, who uh, we both saw play on Friday. Very impressive looking kid. He added an offer from Utah. And Jason, coming up this week, a lot of really good games. What's jumping out to you this upcoming week in way of high school football? Well, I'm going to go watch one of my former uh, college teammates, Robbie York, uh, over at Glendale High. I'm going to give a shout-out to him and the job that he's done last year. They're 8-2, and two and they're undefeated right now. They're hosting Walden Grove. So I'm going to you know, head stay on my side of town and head, go over there and check out the Glendale Cardinals. And I will be at Mountain Point and Queen Creek, a couple of really rock-solid programs over recent years. Queen Creek made the jump up to 6A and going to be a nice battle up front between those two teams in the trenches, so going to be fun to watch that one. So we are already at the halfway point of the regular season, if you can believe that, and the offers are continuing to pour through. Keep it here on the Recruiting Roundup each and every week on Sports 360 AZ.